So it is pretty miserably rainy out. And it is 43 degrees right now. These are my parents. Everybody say hi. 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 We have a band <laughs> forming here from water Please. dripping. I don't know Should if we sing see. to it? Should we what? sing to the band? -da -da -da. <laughs> so I'm going to go outside and take a look and see if I can figure out where it's coming in and how to stop it. This has been filling for maybe five to ten minutes and it's already got two inches of water in it. So what's happening is that all of the water coming off of the roof from the front all the way to the back is draining into that bucket. Not ideal. Is this what you plan to come to yeah. Texas for? It went from 91 degrees yesterday to the Is it 46 high, right now? Uh, the high today is supposed to be 57. 45 right now. Yes, and it's 45 right now. How warm was it when you left California? Or what is it there? It's going to be a high of 86 today. Uh, and uh, the low is higher than your high. high. <laughs> we are ramming cylinders. I got a little bit started. I got excited and forgot to show you guys. Sorry, but I'm going to show you what we're doing right now and then uh, show you what we're working on because we're ramming test cylinders for our walls, which will allow us to see and pressure test the materials that we have to see if we can't uh, find a, a good mix for our, for our walls. So here's what we got going on. I bought a 10 foot length of this uh, six inch sewer pipe and I've cut it into 14 inch lengths, which um, then I took this duct tape here and I sealed the bottom of, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I sealed the bottom of, so that way we can pour material in there, ram it down, and then what we'll do is we'll cover the top with duct tape to keep them waterproof and then we will take them to the lab. So we'll show you the whole process of how we mix the material, add it, ram it, all of that stuff. This line right here is 0.7. So we are gonna do 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 of a cubic foot. Mix all three of those front buckets together. We're gonna to put some more into that one and get it up to, this, up to level. Put all three of those together, add the cement, add the water, Mix it right here, and we're going to go ahead and start ramming. Now the trick is... We have to keep the Portland cement dry until we're ready to mix. And everything and out here is wet. wet. <laughs> Very wet. Um, actually, we're going to need water. Okay. <laughs> this weighs more than you, Kaylee. Yeah, that bag weighs more than you. I believe you. It has so heavy. Well, this, so you've seen concrete. This is cement, which is very, very different.
You're gonna let that. I'm gonna shut it down. Because I know we still have fixed it. But fixed around here is not a pause. Is not a uh, like fixed permanent. Does it have to be perfectly mixed? Yeah. Yeah, it takes a long time. Well, we won't be doing it by hand. For no. Hope <laughs> oh, that's good. Give us a cement truck. Is a cement truck here? No, a cement truck can't. There's some more grass. There's grass in there. No. Oh, there it is. Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 Oh. When we don't actually need all of this, this is going to yield 2.8 cubic yard or 2.8 cubic feet, and we only need 2.2, I think, to do the test. So what we'll do is we'll make it actually an extra cylinder, so we can get an idea for what it's going to look like. For one, one we're going to color it. We're not going to put color in this one. Will you for the real stuff? What's that? Will you for the real stuff? Up for debate. For the house, most likely. The problem is the color almost doubles the cost. Oh. Just to color it. Well, and natural color is nice. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Especially when double the cost is your alternative. <laughs> we may pick one of the walls in the great room for the color and can, just leave Can you paint them? You can paint them. Yeah. I mean, if you just got tired of it. But you can't unpaint them. Oh. That's Meaning not true. You can you pressure can, wash them. Or sandblast them. Yeah, but who wants to do that inside the house? I'm going to decorate you guys think of our weather here. Well, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Today. Now yeah, it is. It's a little, beautiful. A little cold, but otherwise good. Cool. And the trees, the wind rustling through the trees. Like is one so time, nice. it was like this. Yes. And two minutes later, it was pouring. Oh. Hopefully, that's not going to happen right now. Well, we've had a lot of radiation in the last 24 hours. Here, babe, do you okay. want to take a turn? Hey. Nope. It's, it's now mixed. Now comes the really hard part mixing it with water because it gets heavier. <laughs> not that much. Didn't use that much water. Yeah, the whole thing, a lot of where its strength comes from, comes from the fact that you don't use a lot of water. A lot of water. This is, we're definitely going to need more water. But I'm going to. Is the water measured? No. Uh, so the water is sort of just feel according by feel. to feel. It's done by feel. By feel. Yeah, that makes Which sense. is one of the reasons why I took the class so I could see exactly what that feels like. But when you're doing huge amounts, isn't it measured? Uh, no, because the material will sit out in the weather. So the material will automatically have some moisture in it. So the problem is if you measure it, and let's say it just rained the night before, well, your material already has a lot more water in it, so it really is better to go by feel uh, for the water. No, you're right. They're definitely getting close. Of course, I am such an expert on this subject. That <laughs> oh, 400 tons. 18. How many 18 wheelers? <laughs> 30 to 40. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's actually really close. So just sort of you want it to kind pressure. of stick together? Yeah. When it falls, it breaks apart. So you can hold it in your hand, make it into a ball. That's pretty good. 
falls, it breaks yeah, apart. That, that makes good sense. Yep. Yeah, I think we're I think we're just about there. And you sort of take it. See how yes. it sort of crumbles off the side like that? Yes. How it'll roll mm -hmm. down a little bit. That's about that. That's that like oatmeal consistency you're looking for. So kind of dried, kind of wet. Yep, that's probably pretty good right there. All right. First cylinder. It lasted the whole time. Thanks, God. Yep, that's amazing. And the weather held out. And the weather held out. Yeah, we gotta duct tape these so they have to relieve pressure on this. Sweet. So these will get tested on next Friday. So a week from today, seven exactly, days. Yeah, exactly, seven days. And if that meets the testing standards that we're looking for, then they'll get tested again on... 28 days. On day 28. Yep. So, so, well, and we'll know after seven days if the strengths are, I think it's above like 2200 to 2500 PSI, if the strengths are above that, at seven days, we know it'll most likely be good after 28 days. Because it, it's strongest 28 days Strongest after. 28 days later, but it usually increases 500 to 800 PSI uh, from day seven, usually. So we're, this is 10% cement, uh, which will actually in product or in the walls, it'll end up being closer to 6% cement. Uh, because we have some other additives, but the additives are expensive. So instead of doing them in the test cylinders, you just do all cement. So we'll do another set with 12% cement, which will end up being 8% cement in the product to eight to 10. Um, but either way, the goal is to get 10% or less of cement and 3000 PSI. They're all tucked away safely in the back seat. Ready for testing next week. Yeah. And we got ours. Ready to go too, so we can see it uh, tomorrow. It's been 24 hours since we rammed it. We've cut our cylinder and we're going to take a look at what it is. That's what it'll look like. Yeah. All right, so we got our cylinders rammed. We did some cleaning up around the property. And I think it's time to call it a day and go get some food. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.